You're listening to Spring River Chronicle. Audio on the go. Highland Rebel Booster Club holds monthly meeting. New officers appointed. By E.B. Barnes. Read by Jody Shackelford. Sponsored by First National Banking Company. On Tuesday, July 5th, the Highland Rebel Booster Club gathered at the A.L. Hudson Memorial Center's hospitality room to cover nominations of officers for the upcoming two-year period. Other subjects that were discussed included the 7-on-7 at Harding University, the 30th year reunion of the 1981 state champions football team, the proposed conference lineup for the 2011 football season, renovations to the tennis courts, and the Rebel Booster Club four-person scramble on the Cherokee Village South Golf Course. The meeting began at 6 p.m. with President James Bragg calling the discussion to order. Minutes from the previous meeting were reviewed and discussed. John Katrosh, the new assistant coach for the senior high Rebels football team, was welcomed to the Booster Club. After a view of the current account balances, Spencer Hill, head football coach, reviewed the seven-on-seven that was played at Harding University earlier in the summer break. Hill mentioned that it went pretty well and told the Booster Club that the seven-on-sevens start at Pocahontas this week on Thursdays. Hill also said that he had been working hard on the 2011 football season schedule. The 4A3 conference is losing Osceola and gaining Cave City in the next year. This has not been approved by the Arkansas Activities Association yet, but it is in the works. The first day of school will start on August 15th. The first scrimmage game will be on the following week. Hill is trying to locate a non-conference game to be played. Currently, Thayer or Bald Knob High Schools are the two most likely teams to be Highland's opponents in the scrimmage game. Richard Stowers told the Booster Club that he is in the process of setting up the 30-year reunion for the 1981 state championship football team. He plans on getting together, viewing old films, and just having a good time. Contact Richard Stowers for more information on the 30-year reunion. The renovations to the high school tennis courts were also brought up. Danny Gibson told the Booster Club that Billy Smart will be putting the lights on the poles within the next three to four weeks. The Booster Club would like to thank Billy Smart for all of his help. David Webb then took the floor and presented the Rebel Booster Club four-person scramble at the Cherokee Village South Golf Course that will be taking place on the 23rd of July. Webb informed the Booster Club that 40 teams of four have already signed up, opposed to 33 teams of four last year. The deadline to sign up to play in the four-person scramble is July 22nd. The cost is $40 per player and $60 gets both the Booster Club membership, regularly $25, and the entry fee for $40. For more information, contact Dave Webb at the South Golf Course. Bill Pierce, member of the nominations committee, then stood up and asked everyone for their attention. The nominating committee, consisting of Blake Medlock, Bill Pierce, and James Bragg, hereby present the following selection for officers of the membership to consider for a two-year period beginning August 1st. President, James Bragg. Vice President, Blake Medlock. Secretary, Julie Seat. Treasurer, Mike Burris. Three board members, Danny Gibson, Richard Stowers, and Sam Hill. The nominees were motioned to pass by the membership. The new officers will take their positions beginning August 1st and hold said position for a two-year period. The next meeting was set for July 26th at the A.L. Hudson Memorial Center in the hospitality room. Setting goals and objectives for the next year will be the topics.